Hey everybody, it's Allie, the canine nutritionist from Padfoot Palms Poodles and Pals. So today I'm making a very sad and very angry video, but I feel like as a member of the dog community, it's something that I need to touch on both for my followers and to help document and spread word about this story. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. There was a trainer who was recorded a puppy and it's not okay. It's not acceptable. It's not training. You know, I, I called them a trainer. They're not a trainer. They're an animal and it, the video clip, which will be at the end of my video, is horrifying. Um, it, it makes me sick to my stomach. If you are someone who um, becomes, you know, emotionally upset, physically upset um, by watching animal then I recommend that when you get to the end of the video that you just skip it and turn it off. The only reason why I am including it in this video is again, to help document what happened, to help spread the word, and to keep them from being able to just brush this under the rug because what they did to that puppy is not okay. So this is a fairly well-known training facility with elite clientele which I hope they lose every last one of them. They've already shut down their Facebook page, their Instagram, like they've just shut down everything. Um, I'm sure in an attempt to uh, try to avoid the social media backlash that's coming. The company is called Thai Cal Training Facility. Um, it's ridiculous. It is absurd. It is inexcusable. And if you skip to the very end of the video, you will actually see where the person, the actually makes excuses for why he did that to the puppy. Mind you, this puppy is never going to be the same. They have multiple breaks in their pelvis. Their relationship with humans is going to be potentially irreparably damaged. I mean, there's a certain level of trust that puppies have with their human caretakers to know, hey, this person cares for me, they're not gonna hurt me, right? Because puppies have kind of this innate survival mode where they, you know, it's self-preservation, right? They're puppies, they're small. Um, and this guy had the audacity to claim that he broke this puppy's pelvis in multiple places because the puppy bit him. Um, yeah, my recommendation to you, dude, is if you don't like getting bit, don't go into a field where dogs are going to bite you. I mean, you, you can't be a trainer who does bite work, who does guardian training, who who does all of these things that have to do with dogs biting, and then you lose your shit because a puppy bites you. You want the puppy to bite you. That's the point of bite work. It is absolutely absurd. First of all, in any training situation, mind you, I'm not a trainer, but this is just common sense. In any, in any situation, let's not even say training, any situation in which you become frustrated with your puppy, your adolescent, your dog, your child, it, it doesn't matter. Your pet of any kind. If you find yourself so frustrated that you can't control your emotions in that moment, then you need to take the puppy and go and put them in their kennel 
and close the door, give them something to chew on or to play with that's appropriate, or let them take a nap. And then you need to go blow off steam and do something else. And you don't do anything else, training, interact, nothing with any other pets until you've calmed down. That is the correct answer. You do not fling a puppy around like a, a helicopter and break their bones. That's absolutely absurd. You know, when it comes to people who act like this, I think that aside from jail time, and, and when I say jail, I mean prison. I don't mean like jail, jail. I think what we should do is however they inflict the pain on the animal is how it should be inflicted on them. I'm just saying that because I'm angry and physically ill. I'm, I'm physically ill. Okay. Um, please share this video. Please put trigger warnings everywhere. So if there is somebody who is going to have an emotional reaction to seeing this puppy hurt, that they have plenty of time to decide for themselves not to watch it. But, but it needs to be shared. These people, they need to not get away with this. It's not okay. It's not okay. I mean, these dogs are coming into their program for board and trains. They're living there 24 seven and this is how they treat them? This puppy probably weighs 20 pounds. Like if you can't handle a puppy that's 20 pounds, I have been bit by dogs multiple times. I understand, I get it, it hurts bad. It hurts really bad. And the adrenaline kicks in and maybe you're not thinking clearly, but you know what? You need to get it together. You need to have enough whereabouts to say, I cannot control myself in this moment. I need to get myself out of this situation and you go put the dog in a crate and you cool off. You don't hit them, you don't, you don't hurt them. It's not okay. It's not okay. I can't even imagine what this family is going through. Oh my God. If that had been one of my dogs, this guy, this guy would be, he wouldn't have to worry about prison because he just wouldn't make it. He wouldn't make it. That's how livid I would be. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to play the video now. There is another trainer, a qualified trainer, talking at the beginning. Then he shows a clip and then he shows the screenshots of confronting. And um, if you wanna skip to the very end so that you can see them try to defend themselves and make it okay, you're welcome to do that. Um, I'll put some warnings up on the screen so that you know that it's coming. <sighs> Absolutely heartbreaking. Share this video everywhere. Do not let them get away with this. Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, I don't normally do this, but uh, I was presented with this video that you're gonna see next last night by a concerned client of ours. And uh, um, <clears throat> I really debated on what to do about it. Um, I contacted the trainer directly to make sure that the rumors were confirmed and true. Um, and, uh, and over the evening, um, one of the things that jumped out at me was one of our core principles and, uh, and ethical principles that we have here at Huffman Canine, and that is animal husbandry. Uh, 
Huffman Canine Trainers pursue and teach animal husbandry, particularly with and on behalf of canines and the families that we train. Huffman Canine Trainers uh, dogmanship efforts are uh, focused primarily on issues within the world of dog training, but bridge into injustice. Poor breeding, mistreatment of canines, breed standards and values, and other forms of canine injustice. These activities seek to promote sensitivity to and knowledge about appropriate animal husbandry as it pertains to canines. Huffman Canine Trainers strive to ensure access to needed information, services, and resources, equality of opportunity, and meaningful participation for all of our clients. Uh, after reading what I had written months ago in terms of our core values, I felt like it was necessary for me to speak out about the injustice taking place over at Taikal Training. Uh, the video that took place there, the confirmation uh, that was given to me by the owner, and uh, all of that information is written here. Let me just say, this is not how you train dogs. This is how you create nervy, terrified, and abused, and overly defensive and aggressive dogs. This is how you destroy the integrity of the Malinois breed, and this is how you create mistrust and a lack of confidence in the professional dog training world. Uh, I am publicly renouncing any sort of affiliation with Taikal training and being very clear that these individuals need to be brought to justice. Excellent.